And Wrangle is very much the boss. And speaking of Wrangle the boss, can we begin another assault yet? I would say probably. Although a lot of your guys are still getting into position, so no. We're going to hold. We're going to rebuild our fronts, and then we're going to attack again. How are we doing in the skies? So I don't think we'll be fighting any more air battles in northwest China. So will it be possible to shift these guys forwards? Uh, yes. We'll have you fighting in northern China. And then you guys are also heavy fighters. You go here and you fight in western China. And we have some units that can be built. Put you there. Deploy. Cancel that. Then those new guys can go into a new army, new theatre, train. And then we'll add you to our armies when we're ready to do so. See, Japan, I'll try to do a naval invasion. In fact, you know what? I have a job for you. You guys, stop training. Just form a line around this. Come on, wait. And retake that. And you may use... Not the traitor. None of the old schools. Mamontov, you'll do. I'm not going to bother naming you because you are mostly going to be a training army. Okay, I think we can get into a position where we can start upgrading our industry once more. We do have a couple of places where we had been upgrading the infrastructure to 100%, which is magnificent. So let's go ahead and have our industry there being built further. So we can just outproduce everyone. I know Wrangle's in charge, but can you please pop a career and put Kim Il Sung in charge? Not this, not this playthrough. Wrangle's going to be the boss of all the things. And we are still taking attrition, though honestly not a lot. You were always in the worst position. You were taking point one. Okay, I think we've resolved our attrition issues. So let's just do one final push to see if we can get rid of China. In fact, you hold, you hold you hold. This is going to be entirely up to Wrangle. And what I am actually tempted to do is try and capture the entire coastline and then get a massive pocket here. It actually looks like China is not guarding this at all, which is an interesting state of affairs. So the rest of you just, just hold those positions and don't let Japan escape. We can still take Korea, though. That's totally fine. And we have some more industry. I think I'm actually going to start building some more heavy fighters. Okay. And that's going to be one more of those. Then we're going to switch to the battleship production, which I thought we would have already started, but apparently not. Do we have any bomber wings active? I'm not entirely sure that we do. Yeah, I don't think we'd built any yet. Are we actually building tactical bombers at all? We have 90. Oh, he took an airbase in Vladivostok. That's actually really annoying. All right, so I'm going to grab a f air wing of 200. I don't usually do this with tactical bombers. I tend to prefer them in smaller groups. I'm going to select bomber. No, 200. I did that in the wrong order. And I want you guys active here, and I want you killing ships you can find them and if you can kill them. That would be great. Meanwhile, how are we doing for resources? We probably have enough for another wave of upgrades, probably to finish Wrangler's Imperial Guard. And we do indeed. Alright, so Wrangler is now entirely kitted out with the new model Russian forces. Please take the little coastline between Korea and China. There's a naval base Japan can use for a reinvasion. So this bit, that is a good point. Um, I was kind of hoping that you guys would be holding that. But, of course, that is not selected. Um, you guys, go ahead and attack. Why are you guys so out of organization? Because he just arrived? Probably. Right, how's Wrangle's attack doing? It's doing. 
I think I am going to reduce Wrangle's combat width down to just that. I'm going to increase yours to there. The rest of you are fine. I did infrastructure to the Caucasus last stream. Yes, I know. That's why I started building some stuff down here. Oh, further down in Azerbaijan. I'd forgotten about Azerbaijan and Astrakhan. I got these two, though. But there is quite a lot of stuff to get repaired, so I would actually prefer the repairs to get done first. The infrastructure repairs, I don't much care about the fortifications. So let's make sure that those have the highest priority. Let's drop you down, because I also want the air bases. Meanwhile, more production. Um, I might actually start working on more tactical bombers. I want to get the bombing going, and that's also going to require me to buy some more aluminium, which we will buy from the Helvetic Commune and Serbia and Norway. And the Caribbean. And then also rubber, which I think we're buying from the Dutch. No, nope, we're buying from Thailand. Right, because the Dutch switched sides and became communist. Man, these guys are really tearing through this land. I am not appreciating that. Um, hmm. Hmm. Okay, I have a way around this. It's fine. Oh, they formed the Chinese Republic. Okay. Start working on paratroopers. We'll actually use paratroopers for once. I don't usually bother. Are we sinking anything? No, this is kind of just proving how kind of rubbish naval bombers are. Just never hit anything. Especially not convoys. I don't think I've ever seen naval bombers actually sink a convoy. Um, still those. No. Oh, I should have started working on the modern tanks next time. So why are you saying that they still own this stuff? Because obviously that's just not true. And you lot go there. You go there. And yeah, they're going to try and get a cutoff here, but I'm not actually going to let them do that much. And I suspect I'm actually going to need more than just 10, so let's add another 10. Get those guys queued up. How's the losses looking? Japan's just down to three, and I have to capitulate China again. Have they re refreshed their manpower laws, by the way? Limited conscription, they have 240,000 troops, although they don't have many factories at all. So we should be okay. Oh, there's a cutoff. So if you guys attack into there, especially you, then we can stop them reinforcing here. Then we can get the blues to push straight down. I can move the pup, uh, the pink line to cover this whole line, and then I'll get the yellows to go and deal with this. See, I did have a plan. All right, so the pinks are going to cancel that. In fact, screw it, I'll send the pinks over there. So let's grab all of you. So Eagle Slayer, you are being responsible for this. Take the entire bit. Go. Blues, you are responsible for all of that. And then yellows, you are guarding the rest of that line. Whoops. Up to but not including Wrangle. And there is a tiny bit of Wrangle's line over here. Any of you signed back to that, delete that. Good. And I would like you to be aggressive. I'm actually going to cancel that because I want you to do this attack. I want you to attack to here. And then to here. And then to here. Except I would like you to do that in the proper order. So this one starts from there, and this one 
starts from there. Let's make sure you're all assigned to the final position. Go. And now we're doing a spear point, which means they're basically only going along this line. I might need to fill this in myself, but that is totally fine. Right, blues, attack that, go. Alright, the blues are doing their thing. We have the pinks moving over there. Elise, you have stopped moving quite so much. Are you out of preparation? Nope. Minister supports his ideology. How dare you? Uh-oh, that's minus 50. No matter. And you guys apparently need an order. Well, your order is going to be initially take China out. And once you've taken China out, it'll be like that. Uh, no, don't go. Stay where you are. Power drop Wrangle into Tokyo. What? Just on his own? <laughs> just Wrangle just appears on his own. <laughs> Did I add field hospitals? Yeah, a while ago. The Rangard has all of these. The only thing which I haven't added is the support rocket artillery, which I was going to do. That was actually going to be done before I added rocket artillery regularly to their forces. So I do need to add these to this, because that's going to give me a fair bit more firepower. And I can, in fact, afford to do so. My cast off attack is 595, which is pretty decent. 700 defense, 253 breakthrough. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. It's fine. And then Eagle, you are still getting into position. Not a problem. Meanwhile, Wrangle, you are still moving troops down. Blues, you've done your job. Magnificent. I think... You have probably finished on that side, Cyan. I'm going to move you over here in preparation to go after the Ukraine. Like so. Because even if Elise doesn't take this immediately, I'm going to have plenty of other troops in the position where we can just do that. Then you guys attack that. You're not building up planning preparation. That's annoying. Oh, you're going to crush this anyway. And they are sinking our convoys. That's not quite what I intended. We keep on finding hundreds and hundreds of Japanese convoys, but just not sinking any. Despite the fact we still only have 20 bombs. I'm still adding more to the fleet, I guess. Wait, did they really have 110 carriers? No, it's not 110 carriers, it's 110 ships. Why is Chanjin blue, not green? Because it's Legation Cities right now. Ooh! Ooh that was quite nicely done. Uh, let's select nine of you. And have those nine just go and take that. Meanwhile, you guys are doing a really good job, actually, of just cutting off their entire coast, and then we can catch all of this in one glorious puppet. And it'll be amazing. Pocket, even, not puppet. Japan's actually trying to do a counterattack here. That's fine by me. And in fact, what I'm going to do, Eagle Slayer, is can I afford to do this? No. We are very low in supply still. So never... Wait. I saw that right. I could have sworn that the maximum level for a leader was a level 8. And yet Eagle Slayer has somehow managed to get to level 9. Well done, Vasily Chukov. Level 9 general. I, I, I legit did not think that was possible. I thought level 8 was the highest. I've only ever seen level 8s. Maljin's done it too. How far are you two? Eight. You're still quite a long way away. Huh. So level nine is apparently the highest. Cool. And that's a cutoff there. You're still crushing that. Excellent. 
And then we are going to need to tell the orange guys that you're going to have to guard even more territory. Uh, spreading you this thin is probably a terrible, terrible plan. But it has to be done, because we're just going to continuously face Japanese invasions. Alright, let's, let's get another bunch of troops training. How are they doing for casualties? 4 point, uh, 3.4 million. And China is beginning to feel the worst for the wear. Good! Oh! Whoa! Let's grab just four of you, put you into there, and say these four attack that. Go. You guys have done your job. So we're going to say you're going up to this river, and we're just going to hit them from two different directions. So you're attacking, you're attacking, and you are now on that front. Then you guys could honestly counterattack. Let's go and pin them down and kill them. And the cutoff is done. This is one massive pocket in China now. Well done, Wrangle. Well done indeed, sir. Oh, that's a point. How's the infrastructure looking? Not particularly good. Let's get a couple of upgrades here. Let's get you to a five. Let's get you to a five. And then make sure that those are all prioritized. Like so. Get the repairs done. Also, air battles. Uh, Mongolia is probably now secure. So let's start putting some aircraft in Vladivostok and start actually wrestling control of the Sea of Japan from them. Uh, Northwest China is probably also similarly secure. Let's move you over. And there's the tier 3 artillery, which we then need to upgrade. Which is just you. And then we have a research slot available, which should probably be for that, but also I really, really, really need this one. So we're just going to go with the T-55s, modern tanks. And then we can start working on getting some actual breakthrough forces. Uh, really, you have one division assigned to your longest line? Elise, seriously? Let's put three of them here. And then you guys... Oh, I know what's doing wrong. There we go. Patriotic ceremony. Marvellous. And that's put me out of the danger zone. Fantastic. They've, retake they've retaken Beijing. Damn it. Why are you not in the fight? Sure. Get involved. They're trying to cross over there, that's fine. They are doing naval invasions down here. Right, we've taken that little spot. I really need these guys done, so I think I'm just going to go ahead and say, you guys that are ready, go ahead and deploy here. Boom. A new 20 assigned to that. You are going to need to be a Marshal Denikin, who is a Max Entrenchment guy, too. Perfect! Should probably recall one of the armies in the West. Why? Can't you create just cavalry militia units? I mean, for me, these guys basically are militia. Um, they're just going to fight a bit better, because they are being attacked. They are still fighting, very much so. Uh, across here and the likes. There's just not as heavy combat duty as these guys are. Uh, you go and do that. Go. Might need to bring Wrangle in over here. Right, these guys. Why have we not taken this yet? Just do that. Oh, we got a cut off. And of course you've put two divisions down here and ten up here. No, that's a terrible plan, Elise. You are actually proving to be an absolutely dreadful person for assigning units where they need to be. Get it together. And we have built the ship, I think. Yes, we have. We are now building naval. Let's get some more Sevastopol battleships. And we want those in the Baltic fleet. 
work. So, research slot available. This was going to be for the final artillery upgrade. Uh, because we're still doing rocket engines. Okay, that's fine. Three point seven million. And you guys should have more than enough troops that you require. You see that you need twenty. Uh, I'm going to say that you need to fortify that, and that, and that, and that, and that. And I think that is the entire coastline. You're saying that you need 35 to do all of that. You currently have 32. You will have some more troops on the way. You should be just fine. You guys have finished your job. Go ahead and start training again. Might actually move you away from the coast so you don't get naval invaded. Like so. Hey, I took North Korea. Everyone knows South Korea is America's job. <laughs> How's the production going? Let's stick these towards the top again. That was a fortification, which I really don't care about. So I will need to drop a couple of those fortifications down. That'll do. Chinese Republic has capitulated. Magnificent. So you apparently need your orders reset. That can be arranged. Back to your line. Needs to go all the way around. Whoa, that just reset you horribly badly. There. That's what I wanted you to do. And there is definitely no way that these guys are getting reinforcements. There are going to be some absolutely horrifying cutoffs here. If you don't America, mention America, it draws them into action. Next thing we know, American freedom is reigning over Japan. I'm kind of surprised that the Entente hasn't tried to get more involved with anything, because the USA is on their side. Well, they are fighting the, the uh, Communists still, I guess. They have over a thousand divisions. <laughs> they have service by requirement and no manpower. Oh man, going up against America is going to be painful. Are you fighting against them by any chance? No, you are... France has a war goal on Austria. That's interesting. Oh, the Entente France has a war goal on Austria. How are their losses? 3.9 million. Mine is still 2.7. I think the rate of losses has definitely gone down for us, which is great. We have loads of rocket artillery now. We still have a fair bit of artillery or uh, tanks that need to be produced. But I'm going to hazard a guess that we can upgrade another group. Yes, we can. So go ahead and do that. You guys are looking awesome. Then what I might actually do is rest Wrangle's forces for a while and let them upgrade. And promote. Right, and then once you've taken that, we can send you guys back down to this bottom front. And then hopefully the orange guys are in position and they can hold everything for us. That would be lovely. And then after that, I think I'm going to double check the naval, or the air superiority thing. So Mongolia, you are flying quite a long way. However, you could be based here. So could you. Uh, otherwise, everything's looking pretty decent. We have air superiority over the Sea of Japan. Oh no, they are still fighting us for it. Manchuria is where the real fight is, and we have no one on intercept duty over here. Yes, we do. Oh, right, there are just fighters, but they are on intercept duty. That's fine. And they are heavy fighters. They should be very effective anti-bomber. How many planes do you even have left? Ho oh, ho! <laughs> Dare I look how many planes America has? Actually, less than I thought they would. And they've just changed their manpower law. That's a lot of manpower. They're going to have a silly number of divisions. They're probably going to go... I would not actually be that surprised if America hits 2,000 divisions. 
I would not be that surprised at all. Alright, so we've just taken the base down here. Now we just need to make sure that one of the orange guys gets into that position and hold it. Meanwhile, the big entrapment is falling rapidly. So I think after this, I might move Wrangle back to the west front. Four point four million. I might even just leave this to be guarded by the guard forces and then send all of the rest back over to the western front so I'm not taking the attrition while I think about how the hell I'm going to take Japan out properly. How many divisions have I encircled? I don't know because they have a uh, intelligence minister that blocks me from actually seeing how many troops they have here. But just judging by the number of casualties, it's gone up by what, a million? How are the marines getting along? You mean the mountaineers? Um, slowly. You know, did I add tanks to the mountaineers? I think I did. Let me just double check that. Yes, they were already upgraded. Alright, so, yellows. You can be responsible for... In fact, screw it. You guys can head back home. We'll have you on the Baltic front. Eagle Slayer. We'll have you join Elise down here. And take Korea. And then Wrangle. You can be the backup line. Responsible. Uh, can't go all the way. We'll put you in the Ukraine as well because they do tend to bring a lot of troops to the party. You can do that. Although the main job that you guys are going to... Ooh, bombs. For the first and hopefully last time in history, a nuclear bomb has been detonated in San Pedro Sula as part of the international warfare. The unprecedented destruction stands as a testament to the devastating power of this new weapon. The world holds its breath, waiting for what will come next. Will this force Central America to surrender? Central America? Did Mexico do it? Who, who dropped it? There are war against Ireland and Yemen and also the Entente. So it was probably someone in the Entente who did it. USA is not in... Oh, it is. They're at the bottom. Secretly hoping America made a thousand tank divisions, just a tsunami of American freedom rolling across the battlefield. Isn't there an event for peace with Japan if you take Korea? Um, I don't know. If there is, I might well take it because I can't... Well, no, it'll be, it'll be an interesting challenge to see how the hell I can get across here. Um, rocket engines. Oh, nice. That means I can get jet engines. And Wrangle, you can train. You guys can train. You guys can't. In which case, try and... Oops, that theatre. That theatre. You guys can train. You guys don't need training. I am going to go ahead and just upgrade you to the Imperial Wrangles. Like so. Oops. That's what I meant to do. And four more of you to him. And then you guys need to train. Good. So all of you are there. You don't currently have any orders, do you? That was silly. Also, you definitely need a new colour, which can be... Actually, have anyone who's green. You can be green. Dark green. Cool. 